Oh, hey, how are you doing today? My name is Thomas Henson, and welcome to another episode of Big Data, Big Questions. And so today I've got a very special question that came in from a user that we're going to tackle. It's about a certification in AWS. So do you need a certification in AWS to be a data scientist? And so I'm going to tackle that question, and then we're also actually going to look and try to see some job descriptions out there that are posted and see what those job descriptions are and kind of how I would approach it and where you know my thoughts are on the AWS certification for data scientists and looking all at a job description too. So find out all about this right after this. So today's question comes in from YouTube. So I've got the question here. Uh, before we start and jump into the question, I do want to remind you, if you have any big data, big questions, and you would like them answered, put them in the comment section here below, throw it out on Twitter using the hashtag big data, big questions, or go to my website and you can send me any kind of question that you want, and I'll try my best to answer them here for you. Also, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss an episode and never miss when your question gets answered, all here on YouTube. So today's question comes in from, it's on my Cloudera data engineering certification question. So we're following, following along with certification questions here. So it says, hi, will AWS certified solutions architect certification help in my data science career path? So this question is kind of a large, large topic, right? So I'm going to have to take some assumptions here and think, okay, so this person is looking for a career path into data science. So I'm thinking that they want to become a data scientist. And so what they're saying is, hey, to become a data scientist, do I need to have the base level AWS certification? The quick and dirty answer is no, but that's all going to depend too, right? So it's going to depend on what the job description is. And toward the end of this video, we'll actually go through and look at a job description specifically from Amazon and see, does even Amazon require AWS certification for their data scientist? So jumping into the back into the question though, um, let's assume that we're not talking specifically just about becoming an AWS uh, certification for a data science career path. Let's say that it's a more broad topic. Maybe it's gonna be a data engineer or machine learning engineer. So with those topics, remember those are more hands-on as far as the technology and implementing different packages, whether it be HDFS, Yarn, uh, Kafka, Pig, Hive, doing some of the uh, systems administration work, but also doing some of the hands-on uh, machine learning work where you get to maybe implement some of, the, some of the algorithms and doing the tuning and coding there. So in those career paths, do you have to have the AWS uh, Solutions Architect certification? It's, it's going to depend there. So the first thing I would do is, you know, would find out what the basis of wanting to get that certification is. So if you're a data engineer or machine learning engineer and you know that you're one, you know, say in, within your company, you guys are using AWS, you're using AWS for um, your big data projects, then it's probably going to make sense for you to have some level of understanding of AWS platform. And specifically, if you're at a company where you're required to get the uh, AWS big data certification, then yes, getting this lower level certification for the Solutions Architect Associate, that's gonna benefit you greatly because um, AWS now requires for the AWS Big Data Specialty that you have a, um, a, a baseline certification. The Solutions Architect is one that'll get you covered. I will say that I have the uh, AWS Solutions Architect Certification Associate. Um, I was looking into uh, the uh, big data certification there for AWS and doing some of the doing some of the tactical things there. It was a great certification to give you those baseline skills because when my skill set I came in, didn't really have an understanding of uh, you know all the offerings for AWS. Most of the stuff that I've always worked with is on uh, on prem. Barring you know working at a company that's using AWS or knowing that you're applying for a position that ha that requires that AWS certification I'm going to say that most of the time you're not really going to have to have that AWS certification. Um, a lot of deployments, and you can look, you know, with Hortonworks and Cloudera, a lot of their different deployments, if you look, they're overarchingly on-prem. So um, not saying that it's going to hurt you for AWS, but if you're trying really quickly, and this is a tactical decision to, you know, within the next six months be able to roll into a position, um, odds are in your favor that you're not going to have not going to be doing deploying it in AWS or you know or Azure or even even Google um, at this point. 
So, uh, you know, I would look into maybe getting the uh, Cloudera certification or getting Hortonworks um, and just having that baseline information, you know, for the machine learning engineer, for your, for your data engineer, especially for that data scientist, I don't think, uh, think you're going to need that. So let's go back in and actually look at the question about data scientists and see what the job description is there. So um, for, for this, let's look, I've, I've just pulled in here an Amazon data scientist position. This looks like it's an Alexa position. So you can see, you know, what they're looking for is somebody that's probably going to be able to do some kind of machine learning, maybe some deep learning on, you know, voice, voice recognition as it comes in from Alexa and be able to do, you know, provide some kind of prescriptive or maybe even predictive analytics on it. But you can see the majority of what they're asking for is they're looking for, yeah, they are looking for some scripting languages here. So maybe some Perl or Python or just some familiarity with those. But it's real heavy in the high level techniques, right? Like what are we doing with machine learning? Like building out those models and specifically really having more math based skills. If you even look at the description here and when we talk about the technical degree, they're, they're not really looking for a technical degree, degree like we would think of, of a computer science, information system, management information system, computer information systems. They're, they're saying, hey, it's okay if you have a statistics background, some kind of applied math, or even an economics background. And so this right here, just looking at this one, so this is Amazon, right? So Amazon, not saying that they're not using the AWS platform, but I'm saying for a data scientist, and if that's specifically the role that you're looking at, necessarily you're not going to have to have that AWS certification. You, you, you probably want to be somewhat familiar if you're applying at Amazon, but outside of that, I, I wouldn't think you would need the certification. Even Amazon's not asking for it here. So that's my two cents on uh, the AWS certification and data science. If you have any questions, any follow-up questions, go ahead and put them in the comment section here below. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode, and I will see you next time.